Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whenever you might be watching this. Today we're going to make some parsnips. I tell you what, y'all, if you've never had parsnips, you really need to try them. They are so good. Now, they come in the vegetable department. They come in a bag like this. They look like white carrots. So let's open up this package. Okay, here you go, y'all. They do look like white carrots. In fact, I think there is a, a carrot that is white. But they do look like white carrots. And they're a little on the gnarly looking side because they are light colored. Um, you might see all these dark ridges in them. That's no problem. These that I have here... Uh, they are from Michigan. Now, how do you cook parsnips? Well, now there's, it's kind of like chili, y'all. You ask ten people how to cook them and you're going to get ten different ways. Now, I'm going to show you a little bit different way to cook them. Um, I don't peel my parsnips. Of course, I do wash them, but I don't peel them. So, just a second. We are going to get at it here and take care of these parsnips, and I'll show you what I do. Okay, I've cut the tops off, cut the bottoms off. Uh, they do have a smell like carrot. Now, notice this looks kind of gnarly right here. That is no problem, y'all. You do not have to peel your parsnips. If you want to peel them, go ahead. But you sure are wasting a lot of nutrients, a lot of the flesh, and it, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to wash these really good. They are a root vegetable, which means they've been in the ground. So you want to make sure you scrub them good. Okay, I've got these sliced. I sliced them a little bit on the diagonal. Uh, they are a, a, a tough, I think they're a little bit tougher than carrots. But any way you cook carrots, you can cook parsnips. Any way you cook potatoes, you can cook parsnips. They're excellent in soups and stews. Remember, though, they do take a little bit longer to cook. Um, they're excellent raw. They really are good. They're excellent to shred and put them in your uh, salads for a change. Um... A lot of people like to roast them with honey or you see people who make carrots and they'll put jello all over them and <laughs> bake them. I never have understood that one, but I've seen carrots cooked in green jello and it just made me cringe. Well, if that's your thing, however you cook your carrots, you can cook your parsnips. So now let me get this out of the way. And we'll get started on the way I'm going to cook them today. Okay, like I said, any way you cook a carrot, you can cook a parsnip. Today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pan fry them. Um, now, they are a little bit uh, uh, tougher than a carrot. So, first off, I'm going to put some salt and some pepper. And I've got some water here, and I'm going to put just enough water to cover them. And you know how sometimes you'll uh, cook potatoes, and you, if they're not, uh, when you pan fry them, if they're not either small enough cut, or if they're not already pre-boiled, um, they stay hard inside. Well, treat treat your parsnips a lot like you would potatoes. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this to a boil, and I'm going to let them get a little bit soft, and uh, then we'll see. Okay, y'all, I had to take some of the water out of there. I didn't throw it away. I saved the water. I'm going to give that to the dogs, uh, pour that over their food. Now, we've got it sizzling here. Let me turn down my heat a little bit. 
Okay, so now these are just, just barely tender. See, there's some of them that are still a little firm. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put some butter in this pan. Okay, I got some butter in there, and now what we're going to do is we're going to saute these a lot, or just like you would saute potatoes. So we're going to get a little little uh, color on them with that butter. Ooh, that's going to be good, y'all. You wait and see. Now for dinner to go with our uh, parsnips back there, we're going to have some organic rainbow kale. And I've got some water in there. I've got some uh, um, garlic pods, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, lid on, and we'll get that get that to going. Y'all, I definitely need me a new stove. <laughs> and a cameraman. And a, 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 what is it called? A tripod. <laughs> so the parsnips is part of our dinner. This kale is part of our dinner. And the meat portion's coming up. Okay, y'all, dinner is ready. So here's our parsnips that have been lightly fried in butter. We've got our chicken. We've got our, uh, oh, kale back there. So now Ernie's going to do a taste test on this parsnip. So come on, Ernie, do you a taste test. Speak loud. What? Good. Good. So y'all, try you some parsnips. This is the star of our meal today, and we love them. So now remember, any way you cook carrots, any way you cook potatoes, you can do that with your parsnips. Thanks for watching. Bye.